Hi Gemini, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all doing well, you're healthy and you're safe. This is uh, going to be your messages from Spirit and the angels here. Uh, there won't be an extended reading for this reading. Uh, this is just messages uh, that are meant to find you. So um, I'm gonna be pulling your cards here, a couple things uh, before we get started. Um, one, uh, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that information is below. Secondly, uh, I do have a fundraiser through YouTube, and it's for the people of Ukraine. Okay, so uh, if you've been watching my channel, you already know about it, but uh, there's a donate button below if you'd like to donate. No donation is too small. Even a dollar can go a long way collectively, all right? So uh, donate if you like, and uh, I'm gonna personally donate up to 10% uh, of what's collected along with, what else am I trying to say here? <laughs> up to $1,000. I'm trying to pull your cards here at the same time. So with that, let's get started with your reading. Now, this angel answer deck that I am pulling your cards if you have a question to ask, okay, this could be the answer to your question. Uh, if the answer doesn't come out, then it's just angel guidance for you, okay? And the last card here is postcards from spirit. This is a message directly from spirit, your ancestors here, a message they want you to know. So stay tuned to the end to hear that message, okay? So let's get started, Gemini. I'm excited because I have not done this reading for a while. So uh, this is the Healing Oracle, uh, some great cards uh, you can use for affirmations. This one's called uh, Courage here. I am stronger than fear and bigger than doubt. I am light and I remain light. I trust in God or my higher power and stand tall before the tests of light. I grow and become wiser through every challenge. I am being, I am a being of new life. Okay, so a very, um, very assertive passionate energy here so maybe uh you know gemini maybe you're needing to feel more assertive uh, but and if that's the case i would take a screenshot and you can say this as a daily affirmation so really nice passionate energy you may start to feel more creative more confident more assertive uh, so really really nice energy there for you okay so I've pulled uh, this first card I'm going to read is, is the center of your energy here, the, the overall center here. And this is Archangel uh, Power Tarot cards, okay? So the first card you have is the Leap of Faith. This is Archangel Metatron. This says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy, all right? So this is kind of that fool energy, right? Taking that leap of faith. Maybe you're needing courage to take the leap of faith towards something new in your life. Uh, you know, there could be some uh, new endeavor that you have or something here that you're needing a little bit encouragement um, or courage, right, as that card says to do. So really, really nice energy. This is also an energy of, of moving forward, not knowing what the journey is, but doing what's really good for your soul. So love it. Really, really nice energy for you, Gemini. All right, so let's turn out. Oh, well, they somehow came upside down. I must have had my deck upside down. So the energy surrounding you, this is the energy that is surrounding you, okay? <clears throat> All right, really nice energy. You have really, really nice energy here. Okay, so there is some sort of new beginning here, okay? I'm going to start here. This is in the foundation of your reading. This is the artist. Um, it can, it's the Seven of Swords, but in this deck, I don't see it as the typical Seven of Swords energy. This is energy, uh, I feel, of being creative, maybe having some strategy. So there's something here new, I feel, that's going to happen, or maybe you're already in the process of, but you're going to have a chance here to really uh, be creative, I feel, um, you know, be passionate about what you do, 
uh, you know, maybe there's some courage here um, that you're needing and having strategy definitely will help you in pursuing whatever this new situation is for you. So that is in the foundation of your reading. So that is really, really nice energy. Maybe some of you are artists, right? Maybe you have some sort of talent or something that you do. Um, and I feel like you're being guided here to put yourself out there because uh, there's this courage card here as well. So maybe there's some sort of talent you can share with the world. Now, you also have here the Knight of Cups, okay? And I feel with this Knight of Cups that there is an energy here that, one, I feel this could emotionally benefit you, very be really good for you, and two, some sort of offer that is coming your way. And it may have already been presented to you as well, okay? So... Um, it also can be somebody who's very loving and kind coming your way. I'm going to say for some of you, this could be a love situation. Maybe a new love situation is coming in. Um, it can be you also to having the courage to pursue new love or maybe taking that risk, that leap of faith with this person who is interested in you. So definitely really nice energy here. And then look at this, you have the Page of Pentacles, okay? So a lot of new energy that is surrounding you at this time. This is also an energy here for me of good news. And a lot of times the Page of Pentacles for me in timing is between now and a month's time. So this could definitely play out between now and a month whenever you find this message uh, it was meant for you to find, okay? Doesn't matter when you see it. Okay, but there is some sort of good news. There is definitely some sort of offer being presented. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, this can be an energy here of you um, pursuing something, okay? Pursuing something, maybe learning something new. Uh, you know, I see this also can be an apprentice energy, right? Maybe uh, somebody here is helping you out and you're kind of following them and seeing um, how they do things okay and then look at this really really nice energy the sun card okay tells me there's a lot of potential growth and happiness in your future this is the happiest card in the deck this is the best card you could get for your reading uh gemini so beautiful beautiful energy the center of your reading here you have uh knight of cups leap of faith and the sun card okay I feel there is some sort of new offer potential or somebody helping you to move in a new direction in your life. And I feel this is going to turn out really beautiful. The sun card too is also timing for me. So things could really start to grow and there a lot of potential here during the, the warmer months of the year, uh, particularly August. Okay, so really, really nice energy. So let's see uh, what, ooh, let's see what you have here. Okay, so your first card here is recovery. Okay, so you may take some, you may need to take some time to yourself, right? Spend some time with yourself to meditate, uh, maybe be in a quiet place to really think about things here. Uh, this also can be a card of healing. So there may be some sort of uh, situation that you're recovering from that is definitely moving you in a new direction, right? So having the courage here to take time to yourself to think about things, gain your clarity here. Okay, you also have here forgiveness, okay? So that goes along with your recovery. So there may be somebody in your situation or in your life that you're needing to give forgiveness to, okay? The forgiveness is not just for that person. It's for you as well. Some of you may be, you know, hard on yourselves too. So you may need to forgive yourself. But the forgiveness is part of your healing and to help you to move forward, right? To feel good, okay? Now, you also have here, look at that, romance. So some of you, this is a new romance, right? This is a new romance coming in for you. Or it may just be a period, if you're with somebody, it may just be a period of time where, um, you know, things are a bit more romantic or intense or spicy, okay? So really positive energy. I love your reading here, Gemini. So we're going to read your, your uh, postcard from Spirit Message. This is from your, <clears throat> excuse me, this is from Spirit and your ancestors. So dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul 
rather than generated from your mind alone. And I can't believe this, Gemini. This is so on point with your reading. We are here to tell you we are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. We are conduits for spirit, letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved. Beautiful, beautiful message there from Spirit Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.